بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين in the seventieth chapter of the Quran seven zero in سورة المعارج Allah says إن الإنسان خلق هلوعا إذا مسه الشر جزوعا وإذا مسه الخير منوعا إلا المصلين there is something really interesting and something really beautiful about these ayat these verses in particular Allah says, and notice the singular form. Allah says, Inna insana khuliqa halu'a. Allah says that there's no doubt the human being, and Allah uses the term specific for an individual as opposed to saying all of mankind. So regarding all of mankind, for example, Allah says, Qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas. Here, Allah didn't say that all of mankind is created in a certain way. Allah uses the singular form. Allah says, there's no doubt the human being there's no doubt the individual is created impatient. If something bad happens to him, again, the singular, if something bad happens to him, then he's impatient. And if something good happens to him, then, then he becomes stingy. And each one of these three verses, these three ayat are in the singular. And then there's something really beautiful here. And it's it's very subtle. Allah says, Allah is subtle. SubhanAllah, look at this. Allah says the individual, and this is in you can understand from what's being said in these ayat, this is a uh, somewhat of a negative tone. Right? So Allah uses the individual, the individual, the individual regarding the, 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 the negative side of things. But then look at what happens. Then Allah transitions. Allah didn't say that the human being is like this and this and this, except for the one who does this and this and this and this and this. No, no, no. Allah transitioned from the negative to the positive, and in that transition, in that process, Allah also transitions from the individual to the collective. No. So we find the solution for loneliness is supposed to be, in, a, in, in an ideal sense, the solution for that is supposed to be in a healthy community. Allah says the human being is like this and this and this, except for those who pray, and those who are consistent in their prayer, and those who give charity to those who ask them, and as, uh, as well as those who are deprived. Meaning their charity is not limited to when they're asked, but it's also, even if they're not prompted, even if they're not asked by, by someone externally, internally, their prayer guides them to give more charity. They're impacted by their prayer. So when Allah mentions a number of qualities after that, the first and foremost thing Allah mentions, except for those who pray. And then Allah mentions the characteristics that are found in the ideal Muslim community. So let's read through this chapter, chapter 70, Surah 70 of the Qur'an. And if we understand it, especially this section of the Surah, then we're, then we're, we're going to, if, if we understand it and we reflect upon it and we, and we practice it as a community, then naturally what happens, right? There's going to be this ascension. There's going to be this ascent, right? Our Iman will increase. Our Iman will become higher and higher and higher as we worship the Most High over and over and over. Look at what Allah says. Allah says, except for those who are consistent in their prayer. Meaning, if someone's consistent in their prayer, then it's supposed to provide them a middle ground. It's supposed to provide them this, this healthy hub of hub right in the middle. So you have the wheel of fortune, right, where things go from good to not so good and then good again and there are challenges. And so there's this constant wheel of fortune throughout life generally speaking. But the idea is to be centered, centered in the middle. So when things are good, that's awesome, but my prayer is with me. 
And when things are challenging, that's difficult and that's acknowledged. Mata Nasrullah ala inna Nasrullahi qareeb. That middle is 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 clung to, is hung on to. Wa'atasimu bi habilillahi jami'an wa la tafarraku. So the idea is for the ideal Muslim community to be a community of solutions. So Allah begins this part of the surah with prayer, except for those who pray and they're consistent in their prayer and they give charity and this and this and this. And then all the way at the end, the capstone is also prayer. So Allah begins this section of solutions of just awesomeness as it relates to the ideal community with prayer and Allah ends it with prayer. So at the beginning, إِلَّا الْمُصَلِّينَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَى صَلَاتِهِمْ دَائِمُونَ And then all the way at the end, Allah again mentions prayer, that they protect their prayer. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَى صَلَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِظُونَ أُولَٰئِكَ فِي جَنَّاتٍ مُكْرَمُونَ These are people of paradise who are honored, who are honorable. May Allah make us from among them. We ask Allah to protect us from loneliness and the struggles that come with that. We ask Allah to protect us from, from being... Uh, from being overly focused on the individual in, in, in an unhealthy sense, we ask Allah to protect us from narcissism, especially the narcissism that's shown in the Qur'an from Iblis, from Fir'aun, so on and so forth. We ask Allah to protect us from that. And we ask Allah to make us people who value community. We ask Allah to make us positive community members who contribute positivity and contribute uh, uh, time and effort and wealth and so on and so forth. Right? We ask Allah to protect us from, from one and we ask Allah to make us from among the other. This collective positive group of people, we ask Allah to make us from among them. And, we all, and I'll conclude with this. We also learn from this that if someone is praying, but then they're very stingy and they're, they have horrible character and this and this and this, then what are they really gaining from their prayer? Nothing except exercise. So prayer is supposed to be a transformative source, a transformative tool. You look at Prophet Shu'aib alayhi salam in, um, in, uh, uh, in Surah Hud, you find his people telling him, he was correcting his people regarding unjust business practices. And you find them telling him, does, does your prayer command you to do this and, and that? So they noticed the power of his prayer, even though they weren't praying. So the idea is for prayer to be this mechanism that helps us to transform from caterpillars into butterflies. We ask Allah to grant all of us and our loved ones paradise. Amin Rabbil Alameen. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Azati Amma Yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.